going to show you the correct form on how to lift a water filled barrel. It is vitally important that you use your knees and your chest when you're lifting this. So, first off, take a good grip, bend the knees and lift. Rack it up onto your chest. Allow the water to settle and then press above your head, back down to the chest, let it come down your body slowly, bend your knees and to the floor. This is a good way of strengthening up your wrists. Take it as easy as you want to go and if for more of a challenge you want to bring the pole closer to vertical. So if you're just starting out use a light, maybe a lighter or a short pole Keep it nice and high, bend the wrist in and bend the wrist out. Only small movements. Now as you get a little bit more experienced you can start taking it down. Bend the wrist out, take it nice and easy. Today's 60 second tip video is about developing grip strength. You need to have a partner and a pole between the two of you. While you twist clockwise, your partner will twist anti-clockwise and vice versa. And you want to just get a nice, powerful grip go between you. The idea is you want to try and twist the fibres of the pole apart. Cool. So following on with that, we're going to get a short stick. And all you're going to do is grip, roll one hand away from you and one hand towards you and reverse it. Again, you want to try and twist the stick so that you're trying to tear the fibres apart. This is a good exercise for both your wrist and for your grip. Tapping out ain't your first recourse when you find yourself in a lock or a choke or a hold. But if it's tap out or blackout, or if you feel that something is going to give, tap every time. Go. Today's 60 second tips video is about different types of gentle sparring. We're not going full contact, these are all different ways to have a light spar with your training partner. Today's 60 second tip is about how to pull proper fist. You want your fist to be airtight and you want your thumb to be covering right across the back of your knuckles. Close up time. We're going to show you today the proper form for doing press ups. You want to keep your back straight, as straight a line as you can between your feet and your shoulders. Your arms should be directly underneath your shoulders and you go straight down so that your chest touches the pad and then up. The creation on this theme is wide arm push ups. Think always remember, regardless of what type of push up you're doing, is you're not using your back on its own. You want to engage your shoulders, your chest, and your back muscles. Welcome to today's 60 second tip. We're going to talk today about focus pads. How to hold them properly, how to use them properly 
and how to get your student to use them properly. When holding a set of focus mitts, the important thing to do is to keep them nice and close into you. You don't want to be holding the pads out wide. If it hits them, you're going to do your shoulder. The next thing is to always meet punches when they come in. You don't want to be slapping into your training partner's punch, but you do want to meet it. They need to feel a little bit of resistance so that they feel like they're actually hitting something. First punch, jab. Second punch, cross. Third punch, rear hook. 